Greetings, Commanders, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Commander Gadnock, and in this video I'll be ending an exploration stint that I did around the permit-locked Coal 70 sector by jumping onto a fleet carrier owned by my friend, Commander Mr. Vi. I took in the whole experience while we chatted together about Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, well, this will be the first November I don't spend 20 or $30 on fucking Elite on paint skins. <laughs> That's the only time of the year you can get midnight black for your ships. Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Black Friday. Ah, uh, I gotcha. That's, I haven't gotten mine yet, so it's good to know. They're fucking expensive. I think I have them for just about every fucking ship, ship launch fighter and rover there is now. They're anywhere from like six to 12 bucks a pop. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm making my way to you. Should be quicker than another jump for you. Yeah, you're 416 light years from me. I can get there in one more jump. But it probably won't take you 20 minutes to get to me, so. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And you're going to Jameson, right? I am going back to Jameson, yeah. Oh, 519 light years, son of a bitch. <laughs> Let me know you're within three jumps, I'll start the 15-minute uh, timer. Oh yeah, go ahead and start it, I'm three jumps away. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's five light seconds from the star, so no big deal. Yep, I'm literally the only thing here, population zero. I'd scoop the star when you get to the system because I don't have a gas station turned on. I literally disabled everything I could on the fleet carrier before I logged off last time. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I I feel scoop every star I get to. With everything in standby, this fucking thing still costing me eleven and a half million a week to have sit here in this game. Uh, eleven and a half million isn't that much though, in the scale of things. Uh, no. It's like, it's twice that when everything's active and I can bang that out in like 20 minutes. Hey, I just picked you up in the system. I have arrived. Well, you are seven light seconds away. Just scanning the system quickly before I get there? Yeah, no worries. You literally got 12 minutes, so... Yeah, I think we'll be alright. <laughs> You got six minutes until you can't talk anymore. I only got 2.1 billion in the bank and I got one billion on my character's bill. <laughs> it's pretty good, you're still rich. Yeah. I try to keep my personal account above a billion. Just in case, God forbid, they come out with something new, I have the money to buy it. Yeah, exactly. Which, a billion sounds like a lot, but that's not even enough to buy a, a cutter and outfit it. That's 1.2 billion. Yeah, I still haven't gotten full Empire rank for myself. Hey, oh boy, is that a fun grind. I started doing a bit of it with the Courier. It's really easy to Courier those missions. Yeah, but it's exponentially doubles every level, basically, so... Uh, the fastest way is to wait till there's a bombing or an attack on any station that's aligned with them because ferrying out people out of a burning station gets you buku rank. Like, I had one and a half ranks to max out in Empire, which, you know, took me weeks and weeks and weeks of fucking around. I banged out the last two ranks in 18 minutes doing uh, passenger missions with the cutter. Let me tell you, trying to manually land a cutter in a station that's pushing you around and you got a bunch of debris, that was interesting. Luckily, the cutter's so fucking heavy that shit exploding didn't really knock you off course too much. Basically, I applied all my stealth components out of other ships into it. Can't put any weapons on it, but its heat output is 0.12. <laughs> I just landed on Look. your carrier. Contact oh. confirmed. Commence shutdown. Uh, 
Got eight minutes till we depart. Then it takes two hours to recharge them. About eight minutes if you're sitting on a landing pad. I shit you not. <laughs> I'm looking at your uh, commodities market, and you have bromelite, painite, some HN shock mounts, and a shit ton of landmines. <laughs> Those are all four engineers. <laughs> <laughs> Out carrier services have been temporarily suspended. Now, well, final countdown. Attention. I guess I should go in. Uh, it'll it'll automatically suck you. Oh yeah, it just did. That's good because if it doesn't, it leaves you here. True that. But our fleet carrier is a different model than the NPC ones, so I guess they don't want to be bothered to make fucking interiors for getting out of the ships to elevators and all that crap. Even though they built fleet carriers while they were working on Odyssey. Whatever. <laughs> and space honking. Now what I'm waiting for is the hybrid uh, Darkwood ship. A couple years ago, when Professor Palin's original outpost was attacked and he moved, there was a small, very small Darkoid that looked like the larger interceptors. Oh yeah. That you couldn't fight. It was being attacked by other Darkoid ships and it would just jump every time you jumped into, you dropped down in by Palin's outpost. And then recently, Hayford's cache unlocked and was talking about experiments grafting human beings to capture Targoid ships and one escaped. Oh, fingers crossed. That's not a one-time anomaly NPC thing, but it wouldn't surprise me. We haven't had a new ship or ship weapon in this game in over two fucking years. You think that the Thargoid that hovers above Palin's thing is the escape one? Kinda looks like it. I also think Salvation's the rogue AI that killed off the Guardians. Oh, that's a good theory. That is a very good theory about Salvation. Because it's had a few hundred years to mature since then, so it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Alright. What, right, what would it want with us, though? What would that technology want with us? Well, Salvation stated it's humanity's only chance of surviving the Thargoids, and who hates the Thargoids more than the Guardians? That's true, that's true. Well, thank you for the ride in your fleet carrier, sir. Yeah. Hopefully it didn't fuck you out of too much of your exploration uh, money, but at least now you're back in the bubble. I needed the ride back and I explored a time there around the uh, permit walks. Yeah.